Dear Sherry, help! I just don't like the taste of my homemade edibles. Why are the ones I buy at the dispensary so much better tasting, and how can I improve the flavor of what I make at home? Well, that's a great question. Before I get to the answer, just want to remind everybody, hit that YouTube subscribe button and notification bell, because I try to upload new videos every Wednesday. So we're talking about the flavor of edibles here. Why are the ones at the dispensary better tasting? Probably be because they are made with a flavorless concentrate, like a distillate or an isolate that has all the terpenes removed. And you could get, get an isolate at home and use that too and not add any flavor. You will miss the benefits of full spectrum whole plant medicine, but that is one way of getting um, flavorless marijuana edibles. That said, there's other things you can do though if, if you're using more traditional methods to make your edibles at home. And I have a, a, quite a few tips here of things to try. For one thing, if you're using butter or oil to medicate your foods, I recommend that you make those infusions as strong as you possibly can. Why? Because if it's stronger, you can use less of it to get the dose that you need. So maybe instead of, say, a tablespoon of medicated oil per person, you would get away with a teaspoon. So you're cutting down on the flavor there. Uh, another thing you can do, then this is in spite of the advice that I see all over the internet that tells you to do the opposite of what I'm going to tell you to do. And I'm going to tell you, don't finely grind your weed. Uh, all over the internet, people tell you to even put it, your weed in a food processor or a spice grinder and finely grind it. Uh, there's a popular cannabis cooking gadget out there that has that as a built-in function that you can't bypass. That's why I don't recommend uh, the magical butter machine because I don't like to finely grind my weed. Why? Because what you're trying to extract when you're making butter or oil is on the leaves, not in them. It's the trichomes that cover the leaves. So finely grinding, all that does is put more plant material into your infusion and that's what's going to help your edibles kind of have that yucky, acrid green flavor that a lot of us are trying to get rid of. So instead of finely grinding, just crumble your cannabis like you were going to roll a joint. That's, that's uh, plenty fine enough to make your marijuana, butter, or oil. What else can you do to improve flavor of edibles? Let's see. Um, for one thing, cooking helps. Cannabis, butter, and oil lose a lot of their flavor in the process of cooking them. So uh, you're going to get less flavor, say, in a cooked or a baked dish as opposed to using that oil in a salad dressing, <laughs> if that makes sense. So cooking can cut down on the herbal flavor. Uh, what else? Use a heavy hand with herbs and spices and other flavors. Now, cannabis recipes, the best ones probably aren't going to be a very delicate vanilla or something like that. You want to look for recipes that have a lot of other flavors going on so that can help you mask the flavor of the cannabis. Something like pizza with the works, you'll barely taste it at all, which brings me to another point. A lot of people just like to make candies and cookies and brownies, but you can cook almost anything with cannabis and a lot of savory dishes actually work better flavor-wise and you can blend that cannabis into the dish to where it's barely noticeable and when you're using lots of herbs and spices and strong flavors like garlic and onions and things like that. So it's not the time for a delicate hand with cooking. Uh, what else? Um, you can use concentrates, as I mentioned earlier, and those will, in general, add less herbal flavor than an infusion like butter or oil that's made with plant material. Um, depending on how I'm going to use it, though, if I'm making butter or oil, I often will make it with water in the mix, and there'll be a link in the comments below to how to do that. That's not going to totally eliminate the herbal flavor, but it will reduce it somewhat. So that's about it. I hope you got some good tips out of this uh, that you can use to improve the flavor of your edibles, and I will see you next time. Eat your weed!